Hello again. Now, not everything I do is related to old gaming consoles or getting an Atari working that, you know, nobody's used in 20 years. I come from a background of building computers and being on an IT help desk, and I'm currently on an IT help desk. And one of my customers was saying that they had a problem with their computer and it wouldn't boot. So they asked to send it through to me and it turned up today. So I've taken it to pieces and had a look at it and this is what I found. Well, first off, this is never a good sign. I kind of wonder if these rattles might have something to do with um, the, uh, something happening to the package in transit. These things happen. Anyway, on having a look at it and taking the top off, I immediately found when trying to plug stuff in, you can see this here, that the ports are all kind of bouncing up and down and going all over the place, as if all of the uh, supports inside have snapped, which uh, might explain the rattling noises. The only thing to do, take it to pieces. And with it open, you can see that here is one of these support struts, and that is meant to actually be attached up there. The one from up there doesn't actually go anywhere, there's nothing there. And then down here, this one is uh, obviously meant to connect up as well, but a uh, bit of a camera wobble. Uh, that's where it's meant to go, and again, sheared off completely. Over here in this corner, whatever was meant to be there has just completely gone missing. That was probably the rattle. Anyway, we're going to glue it all back together again. Really good glue. This is a kilogram doorstop on top of a spreading box on top of the PCB to keep things down. And now that it's all glued up in place, you can actually plug things back in the ports again, which is very useful, because now I can start trying to work out what on earth is going on. So, this computer wouldn't boot, and that's with the SSD drive connected, which obviously I don't have in at the moment. There we are, not a surprise there, but that's purely because I haven't got the SSD in but it was apparently doing that with the SSD in. So, SSD in, turned on, and let's see what we get. Yep, there we are, no boot device detected. Okay, so next thing to do, go into the BIOS and see what the setup is. And lo and behold, the BIOS. So, having a bit of a look around here in the boot area, I immediately see that the boot mode select is set to dual. Now, for Windows 10, you should really have it set to UEFI. And now it's uh, seeing Windows hard disk. we want to save that and exit and it should all be fine and there we go Windows is starting to load put it all back together again and turn it on again just to make sure that everything is working like it should be it is. So, time to package it all back up again and uh, pop it back to the intended recipient through the post. But uh, I think I'll use Royal Mail. Anyway, that's all for now. Um, more interesting stuff to come soon.